What's up everybody? Josh has got a new toy. What's up Tiger World? Josh Browser here, Shutterschool.com. Alright, so I just got the Monogram Creative Console in the mail today. And so I'm going to do a quick unboxing and first impressions of the build quality and the looks and things like that for you. And then I'm going to throw it on my computer and edit my very last wedding of 2020 using these to see if I can get my wedding done faster. And then I'll do a full review for you of how I think of the new upgraded Monogram. Now I have the original Palette Gear. So if you're wondering what the heck is Monogram, you might have heard of Palette Gear in the past. That was the old name of the company. And they make these really cool modular keyboards. And what's really cool about them is you can take the keys apart, the buttons apart, and rearrange them however you want to fit your workflow. So you can have dials next to switches, next to knobs and buttons, and just put it where you want. You can wrap it around your keyboard. You can do, it's really cool that you can magnetize it, that they're magnetized, and you can snap them in place, move them all around. And so now they have their second edition. Um, they've renamed to Monogram, and they've created a whole new edition. Um, online, from what I've seen, they look like they're smaller and they have more buttons per panel, so I think that's going to make them a little bit more usable. The only thing I don't like about the palette is that the buttons are so big that your keyboard ends up being half your desk just for a couple of buttons. Big buttons are kind of nice for certain things, you know, it makes it really quick to fly through if you've got big buttons and you want to do it blind, um, but for fine tuning, maybe having them close together would be a plus. So hopefully the new model, combined with the old one, put it together, should be a perfect blend between. During the Kickstarter campaign, they said that they were going to be cross-compatible, so I should be able to hook this up with my old palette. Um, if not, that would be disappointing, but I'm pretty sure that's what they said, and the only reason why I supported them. Um, it's always nice to support a company you like on Kickstarter, so you can help these products come out. I think Kickstarter is the coolest. Um, Monogram and Magmod I usually have supported in, in the past. So let's get it open, and let's see how purdy it is, and then we'll go play with it. I actually kind of like the packaging. I know it's cheesy, it doesn't really matter, um, but being a visual artist, you know, pretty things usually we like. My wife's a graphic designer, I think she would approve of their design, even though she'd probably say she'd do it better. She probably would. Stickers off, slides out, cool box. Uh, and they make their <laughs> boxes with the foam inside, good for shipping, but the advantage of this uh, the nice packaging that they give you is kind of a plus because then if I want to pack up for the road, like I'm going to be out of town for the holidays and I want to edit, I can throw my pallet gear in the box and not have to worry about ruining it, bring it along for the ride, hook it up to the laptop. Um, so I, it has a nice storage case. So let's go about and see what I got. I forgot what I ordered because their Kickstarter took a little while because of the whole COVID thing and shutdowns in China. Uh, took a while to build everything. So I'm excited to find out what I ordered. <laughs> They even sent me a thank you poster. How nice. You're welcome, Monogram. So, three steps. Download. Play play. Open the Monogram Creator app. Is that pretty enough for the office? I don't know. If I'm a Monogram super fan, maybe. So there is the packaging. Plick and puck foam. Or just regular foam. And then they slide out. Here's my three dials. Which would be good for what I was expecting to use something like this. Maybe this would be like whites, mid-tones, blacks, something like that. So I can quickly do all my highlight adjustments much faster than using the mouse. So that's why you would buy something like this. The buttons are faster. I'll have to look up the price and add that at the end of the video because I bought this so long ago that I forgot. But I'll put that at the end of the video. So I got two dials, so that should be good. Snapped, see how easily they snap together. They, oh, they hold together better than the, the first edition. The first edition, it could be I've gotten stronger. I've been working out. I feel like they're easy to bump apart. These ones are gripping really strong, so it won't come to apart as quick, so that's a big plus. So when I go to move it around my desk, because the thing is, it's a big keyboard, I like to move it out of the way when I'm not using it, slide it back, but then I always unplug half of them. So already monogram, that's a win so far that they snap together so much stronger. And as you can see, you can do different configurations. Um, I do believe it's gotta have a pin, a male and a female connecting for them to communicate but we'll see if they can go side by side like this or not. There are the basic dials. They got this new tool that I was excited about uh, called the Orbiter, I believe. If I say any of these parts wrong, uh, Monogram, you can email me and yell at me, but I believe, and I was excited about this because when I'm culling and doing things that I need to fly through images, I'm constantly hitting the arrow keys on my keyboard or hitting a button like this that on my palette or I'm hitting you know some type of button over and over again and it would be nice to do, have a way of doing that faster, especially 
getting older and everything, I get a little bit of like carpal tunnel kind of issues when I'm editing over over a long period of time because I'm hitting the same buttons over and over and over again. So I thought maybe having a wheel, I could just like, when I'm culling, I could just fly through. So we'll see if it works for culling, I don't know. Maybe this would be good for, um, oh, it looks like it's up, down. So maybe I could go like right image, right image, right image, up, up, down, down, I'm guessing. I'm gonna try that. So I go up, down, down. And then if I wanna go through them fast, I can do this. That's pretty cool. Or maybe for like exposure, whatever you use a lot, it could be really fine tuned. Cause it's a big dial. I have smaller dials on the old ones. Or these are smaller dials. So maybe having one big one for whatever you're gonna be is precise. So maybe this would be perfect for like exposure and you can fine tune it. Um, I'll test it out with different locations and see how well that works. I'm actually more excited. I, I thought I would either really like it or really hate it, but just looking at it for some reason, I feel like this is gonna be cool. Something different. Snap it together. Look, at the magnets are holding together, but the other palette, if I were to do this, they would fall apart. So I can verify if they are stronger, more sturdier. I feel like it's thinner. So we'll see how they line up next to each other, the new and the old. So far, they're pretty good. Then you got the master, the brains. So you need the brains plugged into your computer, um, and then the brains will communicate to the rest of the palette. So as long as it's connected, your keys will work. So let's throw that on there. And then also, instead of just being the brain, it's got two buttons. So you can use those as tag buttons, review buttons, crop it, whatever. More buttons the better close to each other, so maybe they'll be related, maybe like unflag flag. We'll see. What else did I get? Three buttons, cool. So for pre, I'm wondering if I can get presets attached. That's one thing I'm gonna try with the new app. That'd be awesome if I could do like preset one, preset two, preset three, it'd save me a lot of time. Um, I don't think so in Lightroom because Lightroom you can't program presets to a key anyway, but in Photoshop you can. At the very least, I was thinking this keyboard setup would allow me to call really fast by going like next photo, next photo, previous photo, something like that, and then tag, flag, you know, like one star tag or something. So it's a lot more comfortable than using the keys on a keyboard. And then when you go into editing, you can use other features. So one thing that's cool, the, the old palette app, I'm guessing the new monogram app will work the same way is you can set it up differently for each app. So I can have it in culling mode buttons do one thing and then editing mode they do something totally different so it's very resourceful a lot of utility to that feature and I like the way it all fits together really nice this would definitely be compact enough to bring with me traveling I think I have almost as many features as my old palette gear set in about a third of the size because there's three slider three dials instead of one I'm you know I, I like this new upgrade so far physically as long as everything works when I plug it in I think it's a big win so far. Now, like I said, I don't remember the exact price. I will put that in the description when I look it up. Um, I do know that these are relatively expensive for a keyboard. You're gonna say, well, how, why would I spend so much on a keyboard? And when you are buying something that's a tool for your business, if it saves you time, then it's worth spending money on. And if it saves you help, I'm getting older. When I edit using settings with the mouse, that precision required to click on the dial and drag it over and over again, it puts a lot of tension on these tiny tendons. And I feel like my fingers, my wrists are all falling apart. Like my, I'll get a ton of inflammation right here. So just for my health alone, it's worth it. But also when I switched over to the original palette gear and started editing, I edited my blogs for my, an engagement session, for instance, in half the time, literally. I didn't do a timer to find out exactly, but I do know it used to take me two to three hours to edit a blog of a wedding. It would edit 50 images or so. It would take me, you know, like two hours using just the mouse. And then when I switched to this, I could do it in 45 minutes. Um, and then if I get more practice with it and really get a system down, you could probably even speed it up even faster. Because you just can be clicking next image, next image, exposure, white balance. You're not using a mouse to have to get precise. You can get really precise with it. All right, and lastly, cable for the computer. Doesn't look like there's anything else in the box. Anything in there? Nope. Nope. So this is it. This is the Monogram Creator. This is the Monogram Creative Console Studio. If I said that wrong at the beginning of the video, that's what it is. Um, they do have different kits, I know, smaller sizes, bigger sizes. You can buy things a la carte. It's definitely expensive to buy them a la carte, so you definitely want to get a kit bigger than you think you need because there's always going to be one more button that you think of once you've set up the system. That's what happened with me last time. I bought a pretty big size. I think I bought two. Yeah, I bought a pretty big size to make sure I had enough buttons, and then I was like, man, I need one more button. So now i got a bunch more buttons. So hopefully the two of them put together, I'm going to have a killer kit, and I'm going to be able to edit Ninja Fast. And if you want to edit Ninja Fast, check them out.
Monogram. Again, I'm Joshua from Sutter School. Thanks for checking out our gear review videos. Please like, subscribe, smash that like button, like the smash button, whatever you kids do these days. Help this channel grow. Stay tuned for more reviews, and pretty soon I'm going to edit this wedding, and after a couple days of using this, I'll make an in-depth review of the Monogram Creator and tell you if it was actually as big of a win as it looks. Whoa, monogram creator console. Uh, fancy buttons, fancy buttons.